All right, good morning. Welcome to the Monroe Church Sunday morning. We're excited that you're here, and uh, we're excited what the Lord's going to do. We're missing several uh, this morning, so we, we have uh, several uh, requests that we'll, we'll put up on the screen here shortly. Uh, but we have a few families uh, that, that have lost loved ones. Of course, the pastor, uh, his dad passed away this week. Remember them? Uh, Missy's uncle. I don't know if anybody here knows uh, Roger Doggett, but he passed away early this morning. So remember them, remember her family. And uh, and so, um, you know, as, as sad as death is, it is inevitable. What is not inevitable is where you go. And uh, uh, bro, Roger Doggett was a, uh, he was, uh, he was a man of God for a long time. And so this morning, I, I witnessed this week uh, the, the cruelty that this life can bring to somebody. Uh, I mean, he had shriveled up to you. you I, didn't, I mean, you would not have known it was the same person. But this morning, things are different. This morning, he received a brand new body. In a brand new land. Yes. This morning, probably a couple of hours ago, a man stood before an almighty God. And he heard the words that we all long to hear. Well done. And he walked, he, he walked up to a gate. That's a solid pearl. That gate is, is a gate that closes off walls of jasper. It opened up to a street of gold that's so pure. That is almost crystal clear. Yes. He got escorted to a mansion that God himself has been working on. And if that wasn't enough, he gets to sit at the throne and praise the one yes. who made all that possible. Yes. Amen. So while death is, uh, it's hard for us. Aren't you glad that it doesn't have to be hard for him? And truly we can say, Death, where is your sting? Grave, where is your victory? Isn't that wonderful? We read a place called heaven.
would be. Do you know he could spend $10 million a day and not run out of his money in his lifetime? Now, if I had Elon Musk's checkbook, I'd say, all right, I got a check. You just got to come up here. Let me write your name on it. Y'all, most of y'all probably be in line after me. I'm a pretty big fella. I can bow over most of them. But I would, I, there's no way that I'd let that check go and I'd say, well, you know what? I might try to get me a check Tuesday. He might not be writing checks Tuesday. You might not make it till Tuesday. Why, why, how, why would you risk that kind of reward when, when, the, when, when the check writer is standing here saying, if you just come on down, there ain't, no, ain't nobody going to think anything goes to you. I, I don't care if you got money coming out your ears. If a man writes about $300 billion writing me a check, I'm coming to get my check. Jesus said it. I, I'll just 
too. And while you're at it, go to war with Bezos and take everything he's got. And there'll still come a time that death is going to knock at your heart and you will answer. It's appointed unto man once to die. It don't matter what you've got to throw at it unless you can have Jesus. And then you can say to death, where is your victory? The only way that changes is if you change with We're going to sing. I don't know. I, I barely know how to run a normal service. I just, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. is here. The chain breaker is here. Heart 
take up this morning's tithes and offering. Thank you so much for worshiping the Lord this morning. Amen. It's wonderful to be in his presence. What a privilege it is. Amen. Pastor Greg Anchutes, would you pray over the offering this morning? Chance after chance, I don't know who it is. My 
Oh, 
churches and I don't say this arrogantly I don't I just I'm just saying we need to be mindful of, of things that we should be thankful for and there was a lot of churches that met this morning and they just met they just met they had a social club they shared and I'm not I'm not trying to put anybody down but the Lord said that if you want to worship him you do it in spirit truth but he said it with a promise and he said where two or three are gathered in his name he's right there with you you're not going to gather in his name and he just sat back and said well there they go again Monroe Church has kicked it up again They got a couple songs together. No. He's going to meet with us. And didn't he prove that true this morning? In the midst of loss, in the midst of, in the midst of loss. Praise the Lord. Leah, Leah talked, uh, I guess, like two Sundays ago on, on the 23rd song. And I talked about in the presence of my enemies. You prepare a table. You, you know, ha, ha, have you ever been so nervous? Ha, 
have you ever been so, so just caught up on something that you couldn't eat? When the enemy just seems to be coming in like a flood, you just, you can't eat. The Bible says that in that time, he'll prepare a table for you. Praise the Lord. And you know what I believe comes with that? Is that other promise that he talks about, a peace that passes all understanding. Because if you're going to eat, you've got to have a measure of peace. Now you, I, I've had food that you know I, I I ate for the sake of consuming something because it was time to eat, and you know you, you get busy at work and it's just like well I'm gonna grab something quick. But you know what I haven't done in those times? I've never prepared a table. Think about that. I don't prepare a table to to drive through McDonald's and inhale it on my way to a call. I mean, you know, we've all had busy days at work when it seems like, well, haven't you had busy days? It's like, if I, could, if I could just get four minutes without a customer asking me a stupid question. You, you, you know what, I don't know, if you, you know, if you work in the public more than seven minutes straight, you've had those times, right? You don't prepare a table. You don't, Sister Tech Joe, you, you don't put out a, a, a tablecloth in the middle of the of your, your desk. I, listen, I know you're wanting to part here, and we'll get you there, but I got a table prepared. Give me an hour. I'm going to eat. I'll be with you. You don't do that. When, when, the, when the Bible says that he'll prepare a table for you, and I, I just believe he's pulling out all the stuff. He don't do things halfway. Right. We, don't, we don't serve halfway. Right. He, he, don't, he don't, when he says, I'll prepare a table, he ain't giving you McDonald's back. That's right. He's That's right. preparing a table. I'm talking about the good I'm, I'm talking about making you a little nervous when, when Sammy starts dropping things. I'm talking, he's preparing a table. And he'll do it. In the presence of your enemy. Yes. I believe he's prepared tables this morning. I, I do. I believe he's prepared a table. And God forbid you leave the way you came in here. Can I give you a little tough love? I'd be all right. Y'all still love me if I give you a little tough love? All right. Here goes. If you leave the way you came in, it's your fault. Amen. The God of heaven. Yes. Listen. The God of heaven. Yes. I believe if you came in here lost, there was a band of angels prepared yes. to sing praises and throw a party yes. because you came home. And you blew it. There's still time. If you came in here bound, the chain break. Have your chains on both ends. Say the word. I'll give them a yank. And they'll fall down to the ground. And you're going to walk out the door. Say, no, I believe I'll just hold on to them. A little while longer. I've gotten so used to them wearing me down. I might as well tote them around a little while longer. There's still time. You came in here, the enemy coming in like a flood. There's a God in heaven willing and ready to raise a standard against the enemy and prove to the enemy. He or she is one of mine. Yes. Leave him alone. Yes. If you leave here, say it. I believe I'll fight by myself. That's on you. But you don't have to. Amen. Because time's not up. Right. You're so close. Did you get everything you needed this morning? 
If you, no, I'm not, I'm not one of those look at your neighbor and say that. But, but, but if you, if you, you write your story. If you're a diary writer, you, you get that, your, your journal out, dear diary. Today, God met with us at the Monroe Church, and I got everything that I needed. If you can write that down. I'd say you need to spread that to somebody. Yes. Don't, don't keep that in. Don't keep that in. Tell somebody the God of heaven yes. did something this morning. Right. Yes. And if you can't write that this morning, service ain't over yet. He's still right here. Yes, he is. Yes. He's just chomping at the bit. Don't you let that stupid devil tell you, oh, he don't want to help you. Oh, you, you got yourself in this mess. Well, if you got yourself in this mess, join the club. You ain't going to be the president, but you can join the club because we've all done it, every single one of us. But he'll take you out. Amen. And he'll do it right now. But we're going to close. If everybody's saved, sanctified from this old world, you got the Holy Ghost living inside of you. You got the you got the gifts and the traits of the Holy Ghost working in you. And everybody's standing. That description don't 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 describe you. It ain't too late. It ain't too late. I believe the Lord's just was on the edge of his seat and said, Well, wait. If I just take a step, I'd I'd me. It's hard to close this morning. It's hard to close this morning. I believe he's on the edge of his seat. He said, I took stripes just for this morning. I can do it. Yeah, I suffered the chastisement for their peace. I'm just on the edge of my seat. I got a band of angels. There we go. Oh, but when the angels are sick, Pastor James Rod, will you dismiss? Before we dismiss, I wanna I know I sing this Tuesday, but I wanna do it right now. Let's sing my Jesus.
let us know? Just raise your hand real fast. We just have a little gift bag to give you. All right, we will get it to you, sister. All right, you all have a wonderful week. We're going to see you back here Tuesday. And if we happen to not see you, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Don't forget to go grab the turkey if you need one from the fellowship hall. Yeah, if you can stop that. Yeah. And, uh...